Hello guys, I saw the title in thumbnail. Today what we'll be doing is trying mouse yoke. Swiss so 001 just made a video called Trackpad. I think he did mouse yoke too. Yeah, he did mouse yoke. I still remember it because it has a Garuda Indonesia 777 on its thumbnail. Yeah, I'll just go mouse. Yeah, he is. Uh, no, this is an E330. Yeah, it's an E330. Okay. So let's just try flying this plane. Right now I have mouse configured. I have, I'm gonna keep this thing on cause if I don't, I will not know how to fly this thing. Is there even a home button in this? I don't know. Okay, let's turn off the autopilot right now and let's go. We are mousing. Okay, so that's really difficult. Let's try turning. Oh my God, it's hard, it's hard. Bad thing about mouse yoke is the stupid control that you get. You can't toggle cameras or anything. Oh my God. You can't, you can't really toggle cameras or anything. It's just that it's stupid. I really, in this I can't even click and then lose control. I have to constantly keep control in GFS. So that's a bit tough. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. Okay, it's tough. Uh, where is the runway now? Where the hell is the runway? Come on, runway. Come on, where's the runway? I can't even see the runway. You know, let's just try getting gear down and then trying that. So, mouse is very difficult. I normally play with my Xbox controller because I'm not going to spend my life savings on controls i mean i'll just show you right now pause the simulation let me just show you in tokopedia you can buy a actually i don't want the Cytex panel Cytex is old it's not that good i actually want the honeycomb bravo throttle quadrant and i was thinking about getting an extreme 3d pro and once i save up enough i'll get the yoke but let's just check it out you know let's just check out the what is it Honeycomb Bravo the throttle quadrant and the cheapest thing you get is 4.4 million which is I think you know I'll just go 44,000 for right there IDR to USD that comes out to be around $300 but it's 250 in the US so yeah it's gonna be $300 for that and about 30 bucks for the Extreme 3D Pro so it's quite a lot or I could spend my entire life savings and get a how do I say this get the full thing like get the yoke too which looks awesome like if we search for honeycomb yoke it just looks amazing sorry for the spelling there not honeycomb honeycomb oh wait I gotta put comb yeah, so that's around 4.4 million again. So you're experiencing a total of around 8.8 .8 million for the yoke and the throttle quadrant. So I thought I'd not do that. Yeah, so let's just, let's just fly now. Oh my god, yeah. You know, let's try attempting a landing on like just the ground. It's too difficult to do this. Otherwise, we're getting 60 FPS. What, like 16 millisecond response times? Because it's connected to server and things. And but I think you can butter really smoothly with mouse yoke though. Because in yoke and things, especially in Xbox controllers, the, the distance of thing that you have, like the distance of movement is very short. So if you put a small input, it will occur large, large input. In this, the mouse is static. It doesn't automatically twitch back to the center zone. So what I can do is, I can just put this in the right position and just slowly hover it down. So like, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, we are coming in. Um, so like this, we're coming in quite smoothly. So we can like butter quite smoothly. I just look at how smooth that is. You can't get that sort of buttering even in Swiss 001 fancies and touchdown what I mean so it's really smooth normally like real smooth 
how which which one breaks. When I wanted to lift off, it took a full three minutes or so to just to lift off. Pause simply. It's very hard. Yeah, we'll have to do that quickly, and then now we'll have to search for. Eric is B. B. What else do we have? We have. Engine off E. Okay, fine. Engine. Let's kill our engines. Yeah, there. Our engine should be slowing down now. Let's try lifting off again. This will not work. Because obviously, our engines are dead. And it really is quite hard on it. So, that's how hard my stick is. I see this perform an actual landing into this. Um, let's go for like a, I don't know, something hard to fly. Let's try an F-16. No, an SC-35 works. And the location, of pro, what do we have? I don't want to do on a carrier because I can butter real hard on this. Let's go Nice. Yeah, let's go Nice. Get on. I should have had my mouse a bit higher on my calibration because now it's extremely low and I don't have a lot of area to make this landing. I will end up killing my engines because this thing, I really hate keyboard flying a lot. No, because all the buttons are like keyboards and things. So my six keys aren't working for some reason. It does work in reality. I can even, I can show you, but I don't want to because by playing a little crazy then. I should have done it with a 737 with a bit more agile to my control inputs. Still lifting off a bit. We are coming in quite smoothly. I mean, imagine if actual pilots could do mouse yoke. They'll be butters every single day. The thing is, if you. Oh no, there's a water landing. That's because of over control inputs, which is a common problem with mouse yoke. Let's try at least doing it in the touchdown zone. Mm, we're a bit too to the right, and there actually. Oh, there's, there's a bounce. But very mild, that's because we actually lifted off again. Let's just try reducing our throttle. Come on! You know, that's it. E, B, everything. Brakes, 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 brakes. Put on the brakes. Let's. Should we try that again? No. Are we going to try that again? Yes, because we're dumb. Yeah, let's try that again. Location. Nice is a good place. Nice, let's try this again. Come on, come on. Hopefully this time it works a bit better and I'm getting extreme lag. I should have calibrated a different position. Again. You know, let's try landing for the runway to the right, not this one. There's That's extremely lagged. That's extremely lagged. Like, extremely lagged. There's no calibration in this. Normally when you have mouse, you a little box and a little plus in that so if you click once then you lose control of the aircraft and the control and the aircraft just flies on its current course but on this you don't have that and this once you start the flight you're fully in control you can't even toggle like cockpit view and outside view so it's a bit irritating on G in gfs i can't play microsoft flight simulator because my graphics are does work it needs an external monitor which is i'd say my only external monitor is like a 2008 VGA monitor and my TV, my TV, which is a TV and I can't really record there because my microphone, my desk, everything's not there. I don't know, just stop working like this. However, when I directly plug it in, it needs an external port. Yeah, so that's a bit saddening, but it's okay. I can still play my little flight simulator, which is lucky, I guess. Now, let's, this time, let's try buttering properly and hopefully stop in time. That's not butter at all. Let's try this again. That's actually quite smooth. And let's try stopping. Engine off, brakes, everything. What other what other things can we do? Our engine is completely dead. Like Oh wait. And we are still overrunning into the water. So yeah guys, that's it for today. Interesting to fly my ship, but now with the intro outro you can leave now. It's kind of boring. Most people don't watch it. Yeah, like the way if you liked it. Just like the way if you didn't like it. Comment if you enjoyed anything. And subscribe if you loved it and want similar content. And until then, goodbye.